Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So, am I too close to you guys? I feel like I'm a little too close. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, look at my palettes. They look so stacked up, not organized. I need to get to organizing my makeup room. It's a hot mess. <laughs> well, I mean, it's clean, but it's just like messy to me, like super cluttered. I need to figure something out. <laughs> Anyways, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Sandy Harkin. I love anything that deals with beauty, makeup looks, makeup reviews, Halloween creative makeup looks. <laughs> that is what you guys will see here on my channel and hopefully soon outfit of the day looks as well but follow me on instagram and on tiktok i am super super active there so as you guys may have seen the title of the video i'm gonna be reviewing the morphe tums abby roberts collection i am so excited you guys when i got this i actually was not expecting to receive this collection but when i did i was like oh my god like this screams me when you guys see this palette you guys are gonna be like oh my god yeah it does <laughs> Just because I love playing with a bunch of different eyeshadow colors and all that good stuff. So I'm so excited to show you guys all of these goodies. So let's go ahead and start off with showing you guys the palette. So right now on my screen, you guys are seeing the palette. It retails for $34 and you get 35 eyeshadows. What I love about this palette, you guys, is when you open her up, as you guys may have already seen her, all the colors. And I love also that they're all mostly matte, which I also freaking love. <laughs> the reason why I love that there's so many matte eyeshadows in this palette is just because you can create endless makeup looks with this palette, which I'm going to be digging into a lot of purple, blues, greens, pinks today. And these colors are right up my alley. <laughs> I'll show you guys the swatches of all 35 eyeshadows. We do have two, four, like six, seven, wait, two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven shimmers, but the rest are all matte. And you guys already know, I love when a palette has a black a white and a brown dark brown eyeshadow that is a must for me if i ever collab with a brown one day those colors have to be in the palette because you never know when you'll need them and it's easier to have it all in one than grabbing other palettes for those colors so i love the color story of this palette and i literally guys just looking at it gives me like artist vibes and my head is going a thousand miles per hour with different looks that I can create with this particular palette. So I am low-key already obsessed with it. Of course, we have to test it out, play with it, so I can really give you guys my final thoughts. And the look that I'm going for, I'm going in with a bunch of colors just so I can really see if they mix or blend very well together. The next thing you guys that I wanna show you guys is their the Art Cast Liner Palettes. So we have five pan cake liners. So we have a white, black, red, blue, sky blue, and then a pink color so these are eyeliners as you guys can see they also come with these cute little artistic um what are these called but the, yeah the art cast artist detailed brush set which retails for 28 dollars and you get um four brushes and i also love that there's a little spatula on one of them so you can like remove the product um, like remove some of this product and place it on your mixing palette so you can dust some of the product on here and then apply some water setting spray whatever you want to apply on this and then put it on your face so this is paint i am water activated paint i think that's what it is um yes water activated paint so this would have came so in handy during halloween I just got this collection like last week, so I'm really sad that I just got it. <laughs> we have six brushes and we have a makeup sponge that I will be using today. I'm so excited. I love Morphe brushes. You guys already know that I'm super obsessed with the Ariel Times Morphe brush set. They also just came out with Ariel. It's not even, oh, it's right here. 
I already use it, it's a little dirty, but the Makeup by Ariel Beauty Blender, Beauty Sponge, <laughs> they already have it individually, so I really enjoy Morphe um, blenders. I haven't used this one, but I'm gonna be using it today. Um, but I love the quality of Morphe brushes, so we're gonna definitely put these to the test. So the brush set, it's called the Art Casts Essential Brush Set. Retails for $34 and you also get this little like brush holder. <laughs> All right, and I think that's pretty much it for the entire collection, which I am seriously, you guys, off the bat right now, I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and prep my eyes and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I have you guys super up close and personal. I'm actually washing clothes. So if you guys can hear my dryer, I apologize. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's get into it because I'm so excited. So of course, like I mentioned, I'm doing something super colorful because I kind of want to dig into every single of these bright eyeshadows. You can also create something super, super neutral um, because we have all the browns and like these nice gold shimmery shades, the whites, like all these right here. You guys can create very wearable looks as well and that's why i kind of like this palette too i mean obviously there's more bright colors and more fun colors um but you also have an option to create something super simple so i'm going to go into this blue shade and using my morphe m506 brush because yeah i'm going to use this one to like blend and then probably use this to apply something on my lip i don't know we'll see i'm going to go ahead and just tap it in i'm gonna go up like this like this part is really easy because you're just tapping on one eyeshadow the fun part comes when you start to blend all of these eyeshadows and there is kickback in the palette just so you guys know not like a lot but it'll see i the next shade that i want to go into is the purple this one's called ultra violent this one right here same brush, the Morphe M506, and we're just gonna lay this right next to, to the blue. I love purple, you guys already know this. Purple is just my jam. And don't worry about these harsh lines right here. We are going to buff them out with a different color. For me, whenever I use really colorful eyeshadows like this, tapping is what helps me. So I always use tapping motions and then I will buff it in together and blend. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the shade called um, Rick, this blue turquoise blue shade. You're using the same Morphe M506. And you guessed it, we're gonna go in right next to it. Tap it in like that. And I'm gonna buff it in like that. Oh, that is pretty, okay. So this color is more of a lighter shade and this one's blending in very nicely with the purple. And it doesn't look chalky, which is a good sign. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade called Love, which is the hot pink shade, this one. And I'm gonna start to place that in my crease right here. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way out just to buff that in. I told you guys we're gonna go in with the colors. Don't be afraid to go in and play with colors. And then with that, you guys, I'm gonna go into that brush, um, the AB201 with no product. And what I'm gonna do is just buff out the harsh lines, just making sure that everything is nice and smooth. I'm gonna go into pink champagne, this one. And with that, you guys, I am just going to go in with my same Morphe M506 and just apply it right here in the inner corner and then just buff out the harsh lines because it's a nice soft pink shade so we can use this to just buff out any harsh lines i'm just gonna start to cut my crease you guys and try not to hide the blue if you are following this makeup tutorial um, i'm just gonna go a little bit above my crease and then do not cover the blue if we do cover up the blue it's okay because we can just go back in and touch up i'm gonna go back into the shade called rick you guys that blue shade and just tap a little bit over it it's still there it's just got uh, covered up a little bit with the um, urban decay eden primer but all you gotta do is just go back in with some more and it's going to pop right up i'm very impressed you guys with the quality and the blendability of these eyeshadows <gasps> love 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 obsessed now for the main color i'm gonna go into green tinkers yeah this lime green shade right here yeah this one 
and this one you guys are gonna go all over and I'm gonna go into the AB314 brush from the collection and I'm just going to stamp it on. Oh yeah, that green is so pretty. Oh yeah. <gasps> This is beautiful. I was actually a little scared to use this green, this lime green, because I was like, oh my god, what if it's not pigmented enough? But no, this is, <laughs> this is perfect. I'm gonna go into the pink, you guys, just to apply it in my crease, like right here. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just play with this collection today. I'm using the AB311 with the spatula and going into Mama, that pink one. And I'm just going to, oh yeah, you can see it. I was really scared that you weren't going to be able to see it. Okay, Morphe. I love body paint though. Oh, face paint, body paint, whatever you want to call it. I love. Also going to do just an eyeliner. A pink eyeliner. I love that you can do an eyeliner with this with this brush. I'm gonna apply my face makeup really quick. I am going to use this makeup sponge and then these brushes for my face as well. And I'll be right back. I went ahead and just slapped on some lashes. Um, my eyeshadow is definitely giving me like Skittle vibes. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that out there. So I went ahead and got the sponge wet. It definitely got a little bit bigger, so it did expand, but it's very squishy and very soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to apply my foundation. I'm gonna go into my NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complexion um, Foundation <laughs> in the shade Stromboli Medium Number no. 3. I, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna go into my mixing palette. So I'm just gonna apply it in here, just like that. Ooh, I feel like a Mac artist all over again. <laughs> Taking the butt, I'm gonna pick some of that up like that. Ooh, I love it. And I'm gonna start to just stipple it all over my face. I was saying that I need to go back and buy a new foundation because this one's like my summer color and I'm not tan anymore. <laughs> I was getting so much color um, during the summer. Yeah, like it's not that hot anymore. So I have to get a different shade, but okay, sponge. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my sponge, you guys, and I'm just going to blend out my concealer. Not too bad. Just blending everything out very, very nicely. Just like a normal, a normal sponge. For bronzer, you guys, I'm gonna go into the AB101 brush and taking my Morphe bronzer. This is the Touch of Sun. I might look a little crazy with the white. It's just I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in the shade 110 to just, not really bake, but just set my under eye. So I'm gonna go into this brush and see how it works. Oh, it's really really soft okay so it's like a normal bronzer brush you can also use this you guys to like cream contour as well like i can see myself using that for that yeah i like this brush it's nice i feel like this brush you can also use to like dust away this powder you can also use it to like apply your cream contour as well it's really nice i like this this we can definitely use to apply highlight let me go ahead and just apply some translucent powder underneath here so we can finish the under eye so give me a sec I'm gonna go into my Tres Luce Tranquila eyeliner. I'm just gonna apply it right in the waterline. All right, I'm gonna go into Ultra Violent, that purple shade, and I'm just going to run it just underneath. You guys can go in with whatever color that you want. I'm gonna go in with purple. I'm gonna take the AB315, going back into Tinkers, the lime green, and I'm just going to apply a little bit underneath here. I'm just gonna go back into that shade called Love, you guys, the pink shade, and just run it underneath one more time. I feel like you guys already know what my thoughts are going to be, but I do have some thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and tell you guys my thoughts on this collection. So let's start off with the palette, of course, the 35 pan palette, 35 eyeshadow palette. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I am so obsessed, you guys. I mean, look at these eyeshadows on my eyes. They blended out very, very nicely. They were not chalky. They blended together very, very well, especially blending out the darker shades with the lighter shades. I feel like they just look so pretty. I am so obsessed with Tinkers, that lime green shade that I have right here. 
Of course, you guys, I also really enjoyed the water activated paints. Um, this pink shade that I applied as an eyeliner and as well as in my crease. I am very, very impressed by this. Of course, you can also use different brushes. You don't have to use the ones that I did today with that I used today with the collection. You can go in and get super creative and do whatever you want with this. The only thing I will say though, obviously it is paint. It did get a little bit in my eye and it started to sting a little bit. Um, so just be really careful when applying around the eye area. I didn't even check to see if they are safe around the eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will definitely put that information down below for you guys if I do find something that says that we cannot use around the eye. And then I will also let you know down below once I wash this off if it does stain my lids using the palette as well as this. But overall, these two I really, really enjoyed. I loved, loved, loved and so obsessed and my creative juices are literally flowing right now. <laughs> so if you guys love creating colorful looks like this or just overall you love Playing with like different colors you will really really enjoy this palette if you don't have it in your collection now if you do have something like this of course definitely skip out on this palette at the end of the day you guys you are in control of your wallet you are in control of whatever you want to spend on I'm just here to give you guys my two cents on the collection brushes obviously you guys know that I love Morphe brushes if you don't have Morphe brushes and you've never ever tried them I definitely recommend picking these up I love it too because it comes with these little brush holders and the sponge also I really enjoyed it as well um, it did the job and I feel like my skin looks really really pretty so I really enjoyed using the sponge do I have other sponges that are a little bit more softer yes um, but it still got the job done so if you guys do need a new sponge and you want to buy the brush set you won't regret using the sponge it still did a really really nice job these two I am seriously really obsessed with these and I didn't think I actually needed these, but these will be really great for like detailed makeup looks. Like if you're doing a school makeup look or just something super detailed where you need very, very skinny brushes like this, um, I definitely recommend you guys picking this up. Of course, it does come with this artistry palette. I haven't been this excited over a Morphe collection in quite some time. Um, and I really wanted to sit here and play and create this crazy look, Skittle look. I think I'm gonna call it the Skittle look. <laughs> Um, thank you so much, Morphe, for sending this over. I did try to plug in my code GLAMFAM330 with Morphe, but unfortunately, I think it, I think because it's so new, um, it did not work. But maybe try, if you follow any other beauty influencers, try to see. They have personal codes. I wonder if Yvette XO still has her code. I remember her code was just pizza, I think. Try that and see if you guys can get some money off. I personally do not have a personal code like that with Morphe. Um, maybe one day, <laughs> but I am part of their Glam Fam team, which my code is Glam Fam 330. You can try, see if you can use that for any other items. I didn't try it. I don't know if it's still there, um, but any other beauty influencer that you follow, I'm sure they have discount codes. I love you so, so much. Besitos. Take care, you guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye.